everyone, welcome back to The Mom's View. I'm Colette, this is Carly and Kaylee, and today we want to talk about your baby. Baby. Baby update. I feel selfish doing this because you were pregnant you with me, so we I felt like know. two of us. Well, when I found out I was pregnant with Layla, I felt kind of sad because I was like, I just want to hear about Carly's pregnancy, so. Uh -huh. That sounds like Miranda <laughs> sings, Carly's pregnancy. Carly. Carly. <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> When you get knocked up every year, then chances are I'm going to share it with someone. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm grateful I'm knocked up. I can't wait. So tell us about your last ultrasound. I saw it on YouTube. Um, so many things you learn, and this is my third. You feel like you know it all, but you don't. So yeah. one thing that I thought was interesting was um, my placenta attached in front, mm -hmm. so I can't really feel her, which I'm kind of bummed about because I love, you know, when you feel them kick for the first yeah, time, you're like... Fast. Yeah, I haven't felt much of her. Sometimes if I'm in the bath or like late at night, I'll kind of feel something that like feels like her, but because my placenta is in front, I haven't felt really anything. So does it normally attach in the back? It can or? attach, I guess it can attach anywhere. Oh, I did not know that, and I've I, had five. I know, I didn't know that either, but um, <laughs> it did attach that. in the front and I could see it in the ultrasound. So it will mm -hmm. grow and stretch as the pregnancy goes on. So it will move up higher and mm -hmm. then I'll be able to feel her more. Okay. But I was like having a little bit of anxiety because I thought she was not okay. Right. I almost said the D word. So can you feel her moving like inside? And no, because it like the placenta is so thick, right. you can't like really feel. And she's still quite small. Right. She was measuring really small. The lady mm -hmm. was like, "You're having a small baby." What? That was kind of confusing. Gosh. That yeah. would be scary though, because I remember feeling that way when you don't, because especially if every baby's different. Like I yeah. remember. One baby would be super active and then the next one isn't. Like, it does yeah. make you nervous. Yeah. Because well, that's like, anything could happen. Yeah, and you hear those horror stories and then you read into it. Like, I don't know. I just follow scary, not scary people. <laughs> just cut that out. <laughs> I follow scary people. You, I don't know. I love when people share their journeys, but then it's hard not to take hardships that other moms have gone through and think that you're going to go through that. And mm -hmm. then you get all worked up and you get all this anxiety and I don't know. It's just not good. There you know? is just, I think naturally a lot of fear that comes when, with yeah. pregnancy. Like mm -hmm. you're just always worried. So when you feel them move cause you can't throughout the day, see them or like, okay. Yeah. It's like, whew. yeah, there's so much that you can't see or feel. And now that I can't feel it, it's like a whole other, it's just like a, you know, mm -hmm. One thing is to be out of sight, out of mind, but then when you can't feel them, it's kind of scary as well. But yeah. she did assure us that everything looks really good, and good. I'm just grateful mm -hmm. we made it this far. So mm -hmm. I'm like halfway, halfway there. It's kind of crazy. So yes. exciting. We only have 20 more weeks, but it feels like I've been pregnant for forever. Well, you have been. You <laughs> yeah. just were. I know. <laughs> when we were walking back up to the hospital, like, and with all this, I feel so grateful, and I hope that it never comes across that I am not, but it's harder when you get older and it's harder to have a back-to-back -back pregnancy. Like, I just feel like I hurt all the time, mm -hmm. but I know it's worth it. It's just hard to not feel good for so long, you mm -hmm. know? Yes, I do. But more than anything, she's healthy. She's super flexible. <laughs> she yeah, was doing, she is. She was doing like a full on pike at our ultrasound. She was looking down through her legs so with her arms cute. and legs up by her head. <laughs> oh my God, that's funny. So her head was right here and her legs are right here, but her face is towards my spine. She wouldn't look at the camera. Mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. Do you her. think you'll do like a 4D ultrasound? Yeah, we did that with Elliot. We, they, the hospital here that we go to doesn't do 4D. So we have to drive up to the Blackfoot hospital. It's like 20 minutes that way. You know, cause when you're watching this and I point, you get it. It's that way. <laughs> that way it's that way <laughs> they make you wait till you're like around 30 weeks so they can get a clearer picture so we'll probably and i feel like it breaks it up you know 10 yeah. weeks we'll go get a 40 and then that freaks you out you see everything it's so crazy how amazing technology is i know yeah. the things they can do i remember remember that elliot picture i sent out of his lips mm -hmm. we thought he was going to come out with these like huge lips <laughs> it did make it a little more dramatic his lips are fine now, but that's so funny. I, like, I always, I mean, I loved having the 4D, but I think I got two with the last two, Brock and Daxton, and both times they were like this. They like wouldn't clean yeah. their face. I'm like, that's a part I want to see. Yeah, because they're little. I know. I like the profile. You can see yeah. their nose and their lips. Yeah, we didn't get to see that either, mm -hmm. but it's okay. Dang it. So we were just talking about this, but I want to oh. talk about it a little bit more. So what? Okay. Two babies together. Elliot, well, technically, how old will he be? 18 months. 18 months. So are you going to put him in a toddler bed or a crib? I don't know, because he can't walk right now. He's not showing any signs of walking. He's mm -hmm. crawling really fast. But what I'm thinking we're going to do is just use Elliot's crib and changing table for her, mm -hmm. and then we'll get Elliot a toddler bed. But we were talking about it like 
at what age do you move them to the toddler bed because then they can get themselves out. The thing with yeah, a crib right. is it's like a little mini jail. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. They can't climb out of it. And you don't have to worry because, yeah. you know, who knows what your little baby is going to get into in the middle <laughs> of the know. night. I know. <laughs> Especially Elliot will probably just find his way back to us. But I'm like, I'm hoping by the time he's 18 months, will be, he's in a pretty good bedtime routine right now, mm -hmm. but I just can't imagine him right now, us putting him in the bed and him staying there. I'm like, that's yeah. not gonna happen. I know, it's hard. With Avia, we, so with Gavin, I think we waited a little longer, he was our first. But with Avia, and I think it's because my sister-in-law did it, but we decided to put her off the bottle and out of the crib at one years old. I love oh, that. really? Yeah, and we did, and it was kind of a little bit scary, but she wasn't really attached to her bottle, like, my other babies have been. She was kind of like, eh, milk yeah. or not, I don't really Miss care. Miss Independent, that makes sense now. Yeah, <laughs> and I think maybe that's why it was easier. There was like a two week period where we would go in there and she would be asleep in the closet or she <laughs> would be under the bed or. That's funny. But she still stayed in there and, and she did cry a little bit, but not horribly. Yeah. Like we just kept putting her back in her bed, giving her a kiss good night, good night, I'll see you in the morning. Mm -hmm. You know, and just kept being consistent with that. And she did, it worked. Yeah. And she okay. learned that she just stays in her bed. That's where she I'm sleeps. Like, so, cause our, she'll be in our room probably like the first, Elliot was in there eight or nine months. And yeah. then we moved him over. Best thing we ever did. We should have done that earlier. <laughs> you just sleep better. <laughs> but I don't know. I'm feeling like I'm going to have two babies. Yeah. It's a little freaky. It's going to be you very will. hard. Yeah. Two it car seats, two babies. Listen, I am like, <laughs> freaking out so excited for your baby <laughs> and also love having elliot over so you call me anytime him and layla wrestle they're so cute. cute we needed a baby update they're with them so dang cute the way together. they play mm -hmm. it's funny because layla grew up has grown up with winston so she is like mean and just She's like not mean. tries to like just take everything from elliot and he was playing the other day and she took something from him and then he was just like, uh, no, finally. And I was like, good job, Elliot. Don't let her, don't let her do that. And they're just so cute. They love each other. Yeah, so I love watching them. It's crazy that they're one. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy that I'm halfway pregnant with another one. That time is, so, is crazy. so crazy. The concept of time, like, it's something that I don't think any, the smartest person in the world will never be able to describe to somebody is time. Yeah. But we're excited. Um, there's a lot of changes going on. We're trying to finish our basement so that we can move Cooper downstairs into mm -hmm. a room, like redo a room for him. Is he excited about that? Yeah, he's really excited. Cause So I feel like we're going to be doing three bedroom makeovers. Right. We're going to kind of update Elliot's bedroom to more of a toddler room. Not like the decor or anything, but just mm -hmm. like change his bed out, mm -hmm. get a toy box. And then her room, we're going to like paint and everything from Cooper because he was a little hard on his walls, boys. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then downstairs, I really want to make his room special because yeah. I feel like that's like the room he's going to grow up in until we build or move. And but like that's so cool be for him to have like a space down there. Like yeah. Gage loves being, he's in the basement too. Yeah. And Gage loves it. It's like his I territory. Think it's like, like the man cave. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> so there, I think Cooper is envisioning it as it'll just be a room in our unfinished basement. And I was like, no, Bubby, like. Right. There'll be two rooms down there with you mm -hmm. and it'll be finished. So there, we're trying to get that all done before the baby's here, but yeah. waiting on contractors is like waiting on to go into labor. It's <laughs> never gonna never happen. Never gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Takes so longer than you think. That will be fun and keep us busy. And I'm kind of excited to be pregnant in the summer. I think that's weird to say, cause- I think that's so weird. <laughs> I'm like, that's <laughs> awful, I'm sorry. But then I can just wear big, huge t-shirts and shorts and just not care, cause everyone's like, oh, she's pregnant now. <laughs> you don't have to like try and to be stylish. And you have air conditioning. Yeah. Like, yeah go to the pool and, and just- cool. yeah. Well up in the pool. Yeah, just in the kiddie pool. Belly just... up, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Put food on here. Yeah. So swollen with any. It was like, oh, it's so hot. My body's. But you explode. said you don't really retain water, <laughs> it's a good look. right? Mm -hmm. So that's great. That's <laughs> my boobs do. This is the only thing that keeps right growing. <laughs> Sucks. Oh, but not. So babies, who wants to have one next? <laughs> I just Nummy. cannot wait to hold your baby. I was watching Layla's like updates because I watched yours and I was like, I wonder what I was doing at this time. Yeah. And I felt like ours were really similar actually. Yeah. Our pregnancies. Mm -hmm. Crazy. You mentioned that you had a lot of anxiety. Yes. I had so much anxiety with Layla and I didn't know why. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. With her, I just keep feeling like something's wrong. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's because I couldn't mm -hmm. fill her and all that, but I like was convinced one day that something had happened. I was yeah. freaked yeah. out. I even called and texted my doctor. He probably was like, crazy pants you're no, okay I'm sure that he I'm sure a lot of women feel oh, that it was way. the yeah. most overwhelming feeling I was like I have to like get in and I have two friends who are ultrasound people girls and they're like well you need to run up to the hospital we'll get you in I was like okay that's awesome nice mm -hmm. to know people in the right places you know that is good but 
And the scary thing is, and this sounds really awful, but I did tell Jackson, I'm like, really, like, if something were to go wrong, like, there's not really anything they can do. Yeah. It's just like, what happened? So, mm -hmm. but then I let my mind go to that place, and I was like, just let yourself be happy and yeah. stop worrying about yeah. everything because you can't control it. Right. Those pregnancy like, go the things you can't control. I, I know. Like I cried about, job. oh, I did cry over McDonald's the other day. I was just so happy. I had some Diet Coke <laughs> and I didn't get sick. <laughs> That's Stop a, judging though. You were happy crying? No judgment. Yay! <laughs> but I was just like, I'm just like so happy. And then I just started crying and Cooper was like, are you okay, <laughs> Mom? <laughs> it's a happy cry. I get Diet Coke today. <laughs> I haven't been able to drink it and I know it's awful and it's a good thing, but I just like miss it. Mm -hmm. no, it's kind of like a friend you. that's not good for you. It's like a bad toxic friend. <laughs> You just really out. like. Well, like they make you feel good, out. so you want to hang out once in a while. Because sometimes <laughs> I would buy them and not drink them just because I knew it would make me sick. And I had a couple of sips the other day, and I was like, oh, I'm okay. Yeah, pregnancy is really weird. It's so it weird. is so weird. <laughs> I feel like I'm sitting down. I, I was actually <laughs> sitting like, here, and it's like really co okay, comfy like, spot right there. Because <laughs> people always point out, Colette's so tall or so small. <laughs> I'm like, is this what it feels like? I to have to sit on a pillow and I sit in the middle because I'm like, <laughs> or just always. I have a, What's yes, wrong with always, your butt? always. always, always. <laughs> I do need help with names though, because we have two that we've settled on. One I feel like I like more than the other, but the other keeps coming up in songs and in a podcast. Oh, really? Like the name of it. And so Jackson's like, it's a, we have to go with it now. Are you going to keep it a secret until you have a baby? I think so. Think so. You, are. you know I love secrets. I'm a love of secrets. <laughs> Everyone hates when I do that. Are you gonna keep it a secret from us? Yes. Here, just here. That's <laughs> rude. I, I told you Winston's name, and I didn't tell him. Well, you guys stole Clara Jane's name, so now I'm like, we can't use that. Who did? Casey. How? I want. I wanted to name her Clara Jane, but now I'm feeling different about it. No, that Why wasn't can't our you name. Name her Clara Jane. Cause Layla's middle name is Jane. So? Would you be mad? We have the same name. What? A middle name? Her name's Layla Jane, isn't it? Yeah, but it's a middle mm -hmm. name. Okay. Can't yeah, every, I know families who all have the same middle name. Yeah, I'm I just, had a cousin that they had babies at the same time, and they both liked the name Katie, and neither like one would change. So I'm actually kiddies. naming her Kaylee Colette. <laughs> yes. Kaylee Colette Carly. No, I think, like, I know a family, and everyone in their family has a middle name Rose. I kind of love that. Oh. I love the traditional things like that. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. I just want to Especially, like, family members. Yeah. I wanted to... Like, all my stepbrothers are D. Mm -hmm. Like, the family name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who has your middle name? Don. Nobody. Nobody? I have no idea where it came from. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I, I asked my know. mom the other day. I was like, where did you get the middle name Don? And she was like, I don't know. I just liked it. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's yeah. how I I'm like, there's a name that I love, but it's not a family name. But I'm like, I don't But I don't family. think it has to be. I just think it's, like, a special thing. Yeah. None of us Are we, have... is this like a normal thing in the world or is it just like, because I feel like my mom's been really big on that, so I think it made Casey and Shay big on that. Like yeah, middle name? Like did you my, guys? My family, not. Yeah, family name is a mom. I'm Kaylee Dawn. Tasha is Tasha Danielle. Also no Danielle's. In your family? Mm-mm. So is it just like, like, maybe not just my family, but I know, I wanted to name Elliot Jackson, but Jackson didn't want his name. I was like, yeah. And mm -hmm. I, I told Casey that we should do Casey for some of ours. And Braley is Braley Case because we did it after yeah. Casey and Kaylee. So we did oh, I like love that. just a case. Mm -hmm. And then he, Casey wanted to do grandparents. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, that's fine. Yeah. But I don't think it has to be. I really like family names. My middle name's not a family name, though. Yeah. It's, it's just... Did you know for the longest time I thought I was named after my dad's grandpa? And then, like, when I was, like, 25, my mom's like, no, you're named after my mom. I was like, or my grandma. I was like... My whole life has been a lie. <laughs> my whole life has been a lie. I thought you was lied. my dad's mom, grandma. Nope, my mom's mom. <laughs> so I guess if you do name your child a family name, they should know the relation. Yeah. I just had assumed. I don't. I don't know why I'm so spacey. And I, I <laughs> do think it's also common for girls to not have middle names because they take their maiden name as their middle name. So that is also something that. Oh, that's true. I still haven't legally changed my last name. Oh, like it only seven? it only took me like fourteen years. I always feel so better about that. <laughs> really? It's honestly actually. only because it's such years. funny. Isn't it just such a pain? That's the only reason it's why. It's not as big of a pain as you think. Really? Don't tell me that. Because that's what I've been justifying. It. <laughs> it's just such a pain. Yeah. That's so hilarious. when we go to the hospital, like, what's your last name? Like, I don't know. I could be under Butler or Wood. Just look it up. <laughs> <laughs> I might just hyphenate it. Carly Butler hyphenated Wood. Jackson's like, I don't care. Like I'm giving you the six year run, like you gotta prove yourself and then I'll then I'll really <laughs> That's commit hilarious. to you. <laughs> Terrible. Anyways, um, all is well and we still don't know what the heck we're doing. We're trying to figure out. So if you wanna well, help us, we're halfway there. 
If there's nothing better than going through it. I know. <laughs> ready or yeah. having a baby, ready or not. It's exciting. I'm I so happy wait. for you. I I'm excited it's going to be a fall baby. Mm -hmm. I love fall. fall. That is the like the only thing that is good about being pregnant in the summer. the summer. I think fall babies are it's so just, great. I love And right before Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's going to be and awesome. Your birth, her birth storm will be pink. I know. You guys should so hint that pretty. to Jackson. Mm -hmm. Hint okay. it to my husband because okay. he didn't know about that stuff. Like, I didn't know push presents were a thing. And I, like, some women get good stuff. <laughs> Jackson, push like, got me a Snickers. are not a thing in, in, in our world. world. Yeah. Thing, nope. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, I... I get it. There's so much pressure for the guy. I feel like half the time I like was looking at Jackson and I was like, he doesn't even look like his head is connected to his body right now because <laughs> they're so worried. And at first it was hurting my feelings. Like I'm doing so much and he looks like he doesn't even care. And then I'm like, actually, he just looks like, like he's not even in this world right now. Yeah. So I think he was just kind of like, he was. <laughs> Yeah, it was really, really cute to watch Jackson. And he hadn't slept. I remember there were a couple times he would just jump up and be like, say the weirdest things. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So I do feel like this birth is going to be a little different. We're going to kind of change some things up a little mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. And I think I still want someone to be there to vlog and take pictures. Those are such special memories. Yeah, my really photographer are. just gave us a book of Elliot's birth. Oh, and I loved that. Love it, love it, love it. At first I thought it would be weird, but you forget. Such a beautiful mm -hmm. Like in moment. that moment, that huge moment, you just forget. Mm -hmm. But I think we let everyone in the room right after, and it was hard because I couldn't see what was going on. Yeah. And so I think it might just be our family until we get moved to the other room. And that's right. hard because you want everyone to be there and to be a part of it. But it's understandable. They understand. But it's such a, like, a big moment. I like feel like I didn't even see them weigh Elliot or wash him or anything. And I was just all over there like, what's going on with my baby? Yeah. Yeah. You okay? Right. So I don't know. We'll see. But yeah. That's it. That's the easy thing about having a C-section is no one's yeah. allowed. Then you don't have <laughs> you don't to feel have to make bad that at decision. all. Yeah. Yeah. You're just like, well, sorry. Right. Yeah, I think you have to focus on what you want and you need. Don't worry about like hurting people's feelings. Because it Absolutely. really... Absolutely doesn't matter. That's I think. My mom and Jackson's mom, I think, asked the d morning of, and I, like, just deferred. I was, like, took, gave my phone to Jackson. I was, like, you figure this out. <laughs> and it's, like, of I don't course want to you decide. want them there. Yeah. But it is, it's also just a it private moment, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wish there was, like, a viewing room. <laughs> but, like, from here. Above the window. <laughs> right? Behind your head, so they could yeah. just see, you know. There should be. That's that 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 a good idea. It's like a baptismal <laughs> font. Like, there's like a glass window, and everyone can just kind yeah. of like. I'm actually really surprised they haven't Who wants to buy that? tickets yeah. to the pregnancy show? <laughs> they can serve popcorn. You could get a pretzel and cheese. <laughs> That's actually a Chocolate great idea. Placenta Maybe we'll. <laughs> placenta pills for anyone. Who wants to cut the cord? We'll call it a volunteer. Oh, ticket number 43. Come on down. <laughs> Guys, skip for we you. just invented something. <laughs> we did. <laughs> Pregnancy, you gotta, oh, man. You gotta make it, it funny, because if not, it could get really yes. messy. Well, I'm excited for you. Thank you. I'm so excited. Yes. I, I still feel like I'm not pregnant, mm -hmm. besides feeling like I'm pregnant. Mm -hmm. If you can understand that feeling, then you get I it. I do, because it's like, is this real? Is there a baby in there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, don't know. I always am reminded when I try to pick things up, I'm like, have to do the open knee squat, you yeah, know, yeah. where you're like, ah, it's like so unattractive how you have to bend over <laughs> and you can't breathe. Uh, <laughs> yeah. your breath. People in videos are like, you're so out of breath. I'm like, I can't help it. It just happens. <laughs> it's yeah. part of it. All pushing up on my lungs. Nope. Yeah. Well, Baby number three, you. here we go. Woo we will hopefully have some more updates before the big day. Let us know in the comments below what questions you guys want to ask Carly. And yeah. Thanks. For yes. having me talk <laughs> about the baby. <laughs> yeah. We'll have you on more, especially I'll probably make a list because I forget. It's like, yeah. when, what are you going to do mm -hmm. when this happens? Just lose my mind. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're already a little lost. <laughs> I'm going to need you guys is. to really keep me in touch. Like, mm -hmm. bring me back down. Yeah. You know? You gain a baby, but you lose your mind a bit. It's fine. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we love you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.